this is a stream job. So <laughs> actually, I'm gonna start like this. So say on the YouTube, so you do later. So sub Torin, every time he comments on on my on any video I put out, just ask just ask for this video. So I'm I'm I'm, I'm doing it today. All right, because <laughs> you don't, don't comment anything else. He just goes, "Are you gonna still do the organization stream?" I'm doing it. Okay, leave me alone. God damn it. All right, but we'll get it done. What organizations are in this tower that we need to cover, though? Because in my head is what? This is Jihad Empire, FUG, Wall Hike Song. I think I'm forgetting one more that I had in my head for some reason, but I don't know if there's any other one. I think the workshop science team had their own thing, too. So we'll kind of talk about all of them. Do you think the family heads kind of count or no? Yeah. Think, like as a collective or each one of their own personal families are like a... You know what I'm saying? If we're, being on, if we're being honest, probably both. each family. Okay. Like I think, yeah, I would say it's like it's like a both thing. Like it, it's it's like as a as a concept, they are, but like each one is their own like separate power. Okay. okay. I would say because they all have their own different like structure of how they work. That's independent of everything else. Okay. Well, chatters and new miles. Is anyone is anyone you want to start with, in particular? Ah. Uh, we should probably do the ones we we that's the least like probably go from least talk to most talk, right? So like, what, so, so start off with workshop, I guess. All yeah, right. start, start off with a workshop. So what what so we'll what do on. we know? Okay, yeah. What do we know? Uh, I think. What, hey, hold on. Do we know more about FUG or the Jihad Empire, in your opinion, or is it about comparable? Jihad Empire, okay. because the army in red and all that stuff. Yeah. Okay, okay. You said let's talk actually, about the Actually, we probably, well, probably know more about Workshop than... We probably know more about Workshop, actually, than Wolk Hike Song. Probably. Wolk Hike Song, we just know, like, how it was kind of founded with the tree. Yeah. And, um... Because Workshop has at least a lot of the... It's not Yuji. UJ is the guy that came with him. What's... Ba Bayek Ryun. Bayek Ryun, right? Yeah. Okay, all right. So, we'll do that. And okay. Workshop has all that... The uh, side stuff that we learned from the, uh blog post so yeah i would say let's do workshop or walk, walk hike song first okay so we know little to nothing about wall hike song but one thing that i've always found is truly interesting about it in terms of how it's perceived in the tower is that they're the actual group that's a danger to jod and and or the Zard empire or the other thing great families now I'm mm -hmm. certain it's really because of Urek. I don't know if you want to throw Bayek Ryun in there, but it's one of those things where I think because no matter how many people and how many followers FUG gets, for example, Luz likes their leader. You're an in tower yes. habitant. You're not a threat to us. You know what I'm saying? So yes. that's the thing that I've always found the most fascinating about Wokai Sung, despite the fact that they have no intentions or no um desire to like slit the throat of the king or anything of the sort that kind of falls under the enry umbrella of anything or right like i want to get out of here it's trash yes <laughs> it sucks in here i want to leave <laughs> i'm trying to go back to seoul i don't like that joke but he's literally from like seoul but like he's trying to go back like, like, I'm, not, he's like I'm, I'm not trying to be here or stay here so it's just interesting to think about but um what 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 about this organization do you do you find interesting or do you like want to know or learn about? Uh, well, one, uh, just to your points, yeah, I, I think, well, uh, to just to your point about like the danger thing too, I think it's just interesting to think about because like, power is like in some in most respects the least of their concerns, right? So, uh, like at most, well, like so it could probably be comparable to like a family because. Marek isn't a regular, and then Bayek are going to be comparable to someone like uh, Loose Lex. Loose -like. So, like, yeah. they have, yeah, so they have heavy hitters, but like the rest of the people aren't. But it's like what they're, fa like, it's always like, what is the foundational truth that like a kingdom or empire or like a group rest upon and derive uh, faith and understanding from their subjects? And that's kind of like that the Jihad Empire is an incomprehensible thing that they shut the tower off because flower for 135 cannot and will not be touched upon. So when you have a group that's like, yeah, we're not going to fight you, but we're going to break basically your literal core of like what you're trying to not do. That does create like a really dangerous precedent. You know what I mean? Precedent. Yeah. 
That's int- I see which I do think is interesting. Way. I'm looking at it that way, where it's like maybe because maybe to get out of the tower, you got to keep going up a bit more. Yeah. Um, do you think that the I guess family heads only feel threats threatened? Like, okay, I'm gonna, re- I'm gonna rephrase this because I always found this interesting and curious, right? If I am very powerful, right, and but I'm like a leader and I'm busy or maybe, I don't know, I feel like it's beneath me to always raise my finger against those who want to like challenge me. But someone's powerful enough to presumably wipe out every single person in my family but me. Are you a threat to my family? Do you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, how yeah. do they perceive that? Is it solely because like I said, Bayek Reun couldn't beat Trauma Ray. But every single person in Lopobia, he could pack them up. Is he not a threat then? Like, how do they perceive that? What do you think? He, it's it's like, if this was a different, like, story, I would say, yeah. Because this is, like, n- this is a crude thing, but it, like, reminds me of, like, the Lannister, like, uh, how Tywin was, like, he's very fa- familial, and, like, that's what they represent. But it's also because he's a finality, finality to his life, right? So, like, it's like, the way I feel like the family has rationalized things, where it's like, yeah, kill my entire family, sure, but you can't kill me, and I'm immortal, so no matter what happens, I'll always have the ability to recreate a family equally as powerful as what I had. Okay. You know what I mean? Fair enough. Maybe so if, through if my like, blood, through my genes, no matter what, I'll find yeah. a partner, and it, it'll be, okay, that's interesting. But, like, it takes time, like, though. Like, I guess, they you know, can't... When you're immortal, time doesn't really mean much to you. Yeah, they don't have anything else to do. Like, huh. it's like they have nothing. Like, literally all Edwan does is, like, have kids. It's like, that's all I do anyway. Like, I'm not I'm not losing out here because you kill my family when I don't really care for them anyway. I have them fight each other, and I'm consistently replacing them and reproducing anyways. So I, I feel I think that's the rationale they would go to. Mm-hmm. But from an outside perspective, I would agree with you, no, that this should still be recognized as a threat for sure. Yeah. Do you think a Dory or Anna are stronger than someone in the family has? No. No. I know. Not at all. I there was a point where I, 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 I made that argument, but I don't agree with it anymore. I somewhat I didn't I didn't even make the argument I like that like they're definitively stronger, but I'm like, hold on, that's seven though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That was above some people. And I'm like power recognition and influence, and I'll basically make the argument with someone like a Dory who was able to be the ranker at, at, as a A rank regular, I believe she was at, at the time. And she has a, um the only S ranked um 13 month series i was like i feel like she would be there because of her because of power but she is what the commander in chief of the of um the army or whatever so we ended up remending um rescinding our kind of um opinion on how the rankings work for a long time at least i'll speak for myself at least for a long time i really thought it was power first before everything i'm actually at the point where i believe power is last at best, if anything, middle. But I think your record, like 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 your influence, and record, rec- and, and and how people record, and people can recognize you is is more important than how much power that you have at this point. Um, and I think Evan is a good example of that. While Evan could be the best of his kind, if you will, the Silver Dwarfs, but yeah, I think they're ranked higher because well, with N. It's possibly because she was a, a very talented princess that was awarded a 13-month series after she climbed, being the daughter of Eurasia and um, Gustang. Thus, that dual blood elevated her prestige. Then she ended up going crazy and becoming sealed and things of that nature. So maybe that made her more influential and recognizable by story. Um, so th- that's that's a possibility there. With Adori, I believe it's because of how powerful she was, maybe as a rank uh, as a ranker or as a um, regular climbing due to the fact that she was able to beat rankers before. And now that she leads the army, her, her prestige goes up because that like, that's a very, very, very high ranking position. Part of the reason that I, I, I came to this conclusion was, was a Van Kel was 60. If I remember correctly, as this floor of the, as the ruler of, of floor two, after she bodied the floor ruler there and dropped to about what? 300 solely due to losing that position not because oh van kel lost an arm and now or her, her flames aren't as potent it was only the loss of position that dropped her tremendously in rank so that's so I, so at this point i believe that it's 
Um, those things matter more than how much power you have. We know Evans not stronger than Yuri, but you know what I'm saying. So do you think strength was the most? Wait, do you think strength was most important in the rankings at the star and SLU Crecon did, or was the influence recognition always the most important? I think maybe that's a good question. What do you think? Do you think maybe he changed his mind? I, I feel like if I go back, it probably was maybe. I think I just assumed it was power because I wanted it to be probably. Because, you know, rankings, power uh, rankings. What do you think, though? I don't think we have enough info to this. That's a good question, though, really. honestly. And I'm not going to. Go ahead. Uh, I, I was going to go on a whole thing about Adori and stuff. So if you have something, I would say just say it. I'll just, okay, I'll just say that. Um, I'm not putting I'm not putting that on SIU because I know that in my head I had the expectation that it was power over everything except for a couple of rare exceptions. But I guess it's possible that he changed his mind on that. But let me let me look into that. I'll actually literally look into that. Like now I'm curious. Go ahead. Uh so I I I, I was a person that thought Shakurnth was the more predominant factor. But even with that in mind, I never thought Adori and, and or anybody that wasn't a family head member could uh, compete with them. Uh, and that, that never changed. Uh, in addition to all your points that you were saying, uh, I, th- I think it's important to recognize a few things that people in the tower don't know a lot of stuff that we know, which kind of sounds crazy. But one, mm-hmm. most... Carney. Yeah. People in the tower don't know family heads are irregulars. It's actually common knowledge that, pro- that most of the people in the tower don't think they are. The only people that they think are irregulars are Interview, Phantom, Minium, Urek, and Jahar. Those are the only four. The family heads aren't recognized by the public as them, even though they are. So that's one thing they get to take into account. Uh, they're more so known for like being with Jahar and having the immortality contract as well. Uh, two... The family heads haven't been in the public eye for thousands upon thousands of years. Adori and N had far more, you know, actual connection with those in the tower because one, they climbed after the formation of the Jahard Empire. So information was a lot more centralized and people could interact with them. And they could actually physically see the feats that Adori and N did. Probably most people alive haven't seen a family head fight, but people have probably seen Adori and N in action. N was. I think she might be the first hybrid ever born in the tower. I think she's probably, I think she's older than uh, the Ha and Ari kid twins. I think she might be. Uh, so first hybrid. First to have two of the 13 month series and f- forcibly had to be stopped by Adori and others. Then you have Adori, who first person on record to beat a ranker while a regular. And then is the major leader of two of the most power. Arguably the most important. R.E.D. too, right? Okay, so I was chipping. R.E.D., yeah. She's the head of R.E.D., which is the royal... No, she is, yeah. She's the head of the royal guard, which means answers directly to the king. The king is the most important person in the tower by far. Lord of the Jahard Empire. Jahard is the centralized figure. And she's also head of the entire army. That's... No one else is, is the head of two major organizations like that in the tower. So when you have her doing this, it, it only makes sense that people would think Adori is more important, is equally as important as family heads, even though, like, I don't think that's the case at all. Like, her, what she does, like, she's arguably the most front person in the tower actively having to, like, do shit, because Jahar doesn't do anything. And as far as we know, Molik and the other lore don't really do anything either. She's the one in ha- charge of the actual people that go out and, like, fight and stuff. So, like... I also remember a statement saying that she's actually capable of par- carrying out all three orders. <laughs> so yeah. She, so she's OD. But to answer your question about the whole thing about Yuri and Evan, and Evan warning, warning Yuri in the first season that she, that she can't beat a Van Kel, that's probably true. Just straight up. Like, granted, remember, Yuri's top 500. I don't know what she is now, but even after getting knocked out of, um, you know, the, the being like do two digits she's still top 300 so based off that metric she would still be stronger than yuri now based on what i've seen with both characters do do on screen myself i don't personally think that a is like way stronger than yuri or anything like that if if she is stronger but you guys know that i'm not i'm not high on the van Kel personally so i don't know if i'm the right person to tell you that but you know fair question and whatnot do i was th- what uh, i was gonna say i would actually still probably rank a Van Kel in the top 100 rank because like 
the way in which you like kind of operate is and seems to be on the same pedestal. Not maybe not to the degree of like Caleb Van Hodgen and something like White, but like close enough. But I, I just think Yuri is just massively underrepresented. Like I would have Yuri like top two hundred. Like I think that's Doom. Fair. Like I think like d- like the Doom like top two hundred thing. Because I I don't I can't see her losing to Doom, honestly. Neither neither do I. I don't <laughs> like like that that Houndborn's not beating her. Do you think we'll ever get a revision on the rankings? I would really like that. I think that'd be cool or interesting. Or it's like from the last past years, past years, past 10 years, we have been taking, you know, surveying data and collection and through the news and the media, we've been looking at it and here are the current rankings, you know, like, because I always want to know, like, do they do rankings by the year, by the decade? Like, so that'd be pretty cool. But I, I don't, I would, I wouldn't assume there'd be a major shakeup, maybe like a couple of things or, or in areas that people don't really care, like the lower numbers or like thousands or something, but I would like that. That'd be, that'd be pretty cool. Um, when it comes to Wall Hike Song, do, oh, aside from UG, UJ, and I think there's a couple of people that were traveling with Yuri at one point that were Wall Hike Song affiliated, so were Rec and um, Bike Reun. Do we have the name mm-hmm. of any other members? Or they're still like really a mystery in terms of even the people involved. Because I know when I think they're on the seventy seventh floor, if I remember correctly. And when I when Bam gets there, you'll finally yeah. get to meet them and whatnot, and maybe get the get the winged angel on his back. But I still find that they're interesting that they're the most dangerous, they're the most they're the biggest threat to like even Gus remember Gus Dang was like, Bro, I don't wanna piss you off because you'll like pack my whole family up. <laughs> so it's like it's really off the strength of Urek alone. But depending on how you see by Agriundo, but I do think that most family had to like if you literally can't kill me, like you're not a threat. Even if you can literally wipe out every single person in my family or affiliated with my family, if I'm here, I'm good. Which is interesting <laughs> way of looking at because I would not look at it that way. I'd be like, he's a threat. My my sons and daughters, my nieces, my nephews, my aunties, <laughs> my uncles, like they in danger. I gotta I gotta fight, you know? I don't want that I don't want them thriving, so but that's just me. But that's really all we really know about it. We don't much about what hike songs that they want to get out the tower. Um, the story of the I think they were if I remember correctly, they were like in the forest and and did Urek compress the tree so he could take it with him, something like that. Is that what he did? Or was it yes. the other way around? Okay, yeah. So he compressed the tree to give tree. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's yeah. technically a co founder. I don't think right, he's a co founder. Like I, yes. remember if I remember correctly, they never referred to him as the literal leader of it, more like the co leader. Or was he actually mm-hmm. technically the vice captain? Like Bayek Rayun is is the de facto. He co founded it, but he's like the vice president now because he gave he, he is the vice leader, but he founded it at the same time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And what do you think the like criteria is to join? Yeah. Like, do you, you want to leave the tower? Like, how do you join this? Because he wants to leave, and maybe I, he can. Can other can can in tower habitants leave? Do we know that? You know what I'm saying? I feel <laughs> like a really big factor is honestly personality. Okay. Uh like I, I think they're looking for like I think probably like because I don't I don't know if like leaving's necessary because like Wolkite Sun like kind of like they had like the thing with even like no no Lolorio wanted to go to White Clyde Sun. It's not that they sought him out. Never mind. But I, I do think it's more personality based more so than like power. Because Uruk is already someone that doesn't value strength like highly in others. Like that's not like how he thinks like you're important or not. Like he literally befriended like a civilian. Yeah, Hell Joe was like was a whole repair man. Yeah, and he liked Hell Joe because of his personality. So I, I think the way in yeah. which his organization would be set up would probably be based off standards like that. Now, of course, there might be some like strength level things. It's, t- it's the tower, so there might be. But I, I do think personality is probably the most important factor mm-hmm. for joining. I think Gustang literally told Rick that no one in the family heads is afraid of Wall Hike Sound. They're afraid of Rick going on a rampage himself. I think I remember that in Florida Death during the part after like. They took the souls or whatever, and he was kind of like dejected. The bug is a bug. Like if you if you breathe on them, they will die. They couldn't even like touch your lick your boot. I'm like, God damn, a bug is a bug. Like you vermin. So this this, this really that. What, what was the second thing I wanted to ask you about? Um, well, like some before I moved on. Damn it, it's not coming to me. Oh, why do you think he randomly tested Karaka on the floor of death? Like. Are you worthy of getting the like whatever number of wings? And then you like poke them, and then you obviously got his armor and his curse or whatever he cheated. He's like, oh no, nah, you can't join that way. <laughs> I was like, 
Wow. It is, it is, it is at the behest of his personal whims because <laughs> I could still see that being fair. Like, I kind of like this guy. That's cool. Like, let me see what he can do. Like, all right, you can want to join? Like, I could see that. Him being kind of like that. I don't know. I, it's weird because I, I feel like Uruk actually knows and has interactions with the people, like, in Fug. So, like, I don't know. Because, like, I don't like, think he knew. I don't think he knew who Karaka was. I don't think he knows Karaka, but I'm curious. Like, would would he have met Hajin Sung? Possibly. I feel like he definitely has talked to. Him you, you don't even care about Hajin Sung, though. <laughs> True, but I mean, Uruk knew Yuri knows Uruk. You know what I mean? Like Uruk talks to people. Like he actually interacts with other people within the tower. That's a good point. So like, I don't think like I don't. He's think, well like, connected. He yeah, he doesn't seem to have, like, I don't think he would be the type to have, like, this adverse reaction, like, uh, F.U.G., you guys are weird. Like, I think, like, there's probably some people in F.U.G. where he's like, no, you're sicko, I don't, like, move away from me. But there's probably some people, like, I could easily see him, like, having talked to and, like, actually liking Hodgins' song, at, at, like, the least. And maybe it was because of that he was like, oh, this is one of his students, let me see what he got. <laughs> well, he didn't know, he did, no, he didn't, no, he didn't know Bam was... Bam was someone that like he, he like he he actually kind of put I wasn't giving credit for this like it seems to me like I was, that's what I think like he's like he's like he's a magnanimous personality but he's a little he's a little more um intelligent than he lets himself on because he no one told him bounce from the outside he was able to discern that on his own based on what he was able to do on the floor of death and he asked him about it and they told him not to worry about being a regular or whatnot and when mm-hmm. he first ran to bam in the flowers of Gania, he said there's a there's an interesting baby slayer in fug or whatever i don't think he knew anything about him being trained by and sung personally no I no, no. Can... i mean i was oh. talking about karaka sorry not about bam no, I was talking. No, I was talking about. Oh, you have a Karaka. My fault then. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. still can't. I still can't help but burst out laughing at every wreck. Is my ticket? My friend looked up Iraq and I found that Iraq supposedly translates to brush your teeth in Korean. Does it really? <laughs> That's messed up. But, I have a um, question for you. What's up? If do you think that there is an internal structure to Wolk Hike Song? Like there's ranks of some kind. Or do you think it's just more like very free flowing, and the only ranks that matter are just the leader and vice leader? I would I would argue that I see it the way that I see the Straw Hats Pirates. Okay, they're all just they're all just friends doing their doing things, having fun. Now, could I see him being like this is a person of like I guess slightly elevated importance because she's a def- princess that defected away and came and joined us or something? Sure, but um. I think aside from Iraq and Bayek Ryun, I don't think there's any like strict hierarchy. It doesn't see it, it doesn't seem like the group that would have that based on like Urek's personality and how he's kind of like, oh yo, you repair holes, that's cool. You want to leave here, man? Yo, take this red the rest of man. You could do it. I believe in you. You know, like mm-hmm. he's, he's, so that's 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 kind of how I see it. But that's, that's interesting to think about though. And I have that's, a second that, question for you. Mm-hmm. Do you think the boss could be in Wolk Hike Song? I like that idea, but I guess why would the captain, at AKA or the boss, be there? That's my question. I, don't, I have I, he's I don't I have no idea what that character is up to. I really don't. But why do I why would I why do I think that it means it being it being more sense for them to be in FUG because of maybe they secretly know Karaka is like one of their brothers or something? But that's interesting to think about. I never, I actually have no idea. What that dude is up to? Like, I have no clue. <laughs> I don't know what he's cooking. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> also, my friend can't take Iraq seriously because he knows the story about Iraq pulling up to the commission because he's a lower ranker than Phantom Minimum, and the ranking guy said that to go beat that Phantom Minimum and will change your rank. I, 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 I just remember that when the Floor of Death was like I almost said airing when it was like being like released in real time. He just used to get he was just roast him roast him on his fit and the stance where his hands were out. Like Urek was you know, like a meme for like for like a year and a half. They just just cook him. I don't know why. But it was funny. So Is that all we got for these for these winged bastards? Um uh, talked about their leaders, the rank, their power. Uh I guess the only other question is do we think do you think there's anybody in the main cast that we know of that would join Man. them? Man. Or I guess even just the question, how do you think Bam's going to interact with him when he reaches the floor? Uh, 
he'll probably just surprise everybody by being like not wreck levels of strong but like ridiculous tiers of like you could do stuff that like no one else can do and they'll be like wow she's so special special snowflake so awesome arc arf clap clap like you know the you know the whole bam thing how could a b rank <laughs> maybe it's a b rank by then how could how could but I, but 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 a wreck we reckon him see, like wreck she's like a little brother not, and not in like the like you my little bro type of way like i'll take you under my wing like i think they'll get along and he'll learn a lot under wreck and probably get a lot more powerful after that interaction am i the what only one like Borg had the potential to be a really good character um i wasn't on a wreck i wasn't a light board guy i have to talk, talk to miles about that he he, he was t- i was i'm a caliban dude i was i was a light board guy oh you, were, think... oh, you oh not anymore <laughs> well I, it's just like i don't i don't know what to expect i mean i think he had all the qualities to be a great character uh he was close to adori uh he's from two great families he seems to have an inferiority complex that was magnified by being under a dory, which could lead to a bunch of questions. I was still under the headcanon that Lyborg like, didn't make it into the research uh, center within the Pobedao family, and that made him feel some type of way. And then when he met a dory, failing to be part of his family, being from two family, great families, and still being weaker than somebody is what caused these like mental uh, shortcomings in him. And, like, even just saying, like, he's smart, but he's also super powerful. You know, how he was, like, trying to, like, make moves. I was like, there's a lot here that you can build up up to be interested. Mm -hmm. And then nothing. We just, nothing. I, I think we I think we tend to pop big when we see two families, too, right? We're like, ooh, the duel. That's crazy. So, I don't know. They said you also can't wait. Like, you can't write, oh, maybe because they think, fug fog is like you said cursing i don't know i'm gonna take off shield mode and mess around with stuff now that i know the bots the boss get removed and everything i, I won't be so paranoid I, 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 I apologize i think i have i think i have i put like a million things in motion so i don't get bot farmed or raided again but all right let's move to um was it walk hike song let's all be know i'm sorry guys i wish i had more information but i don't have any more but you know i like i like the um I like their symbol the most in the tower. Uh, the Jihad Empire three eyes are like a very are also really cool. I think I like them. maybe maybe one A one B, but I really like the wings. I think it's a very cool design. I think it's a cool tattoo for a lot of people too. Now I'm not a tattoo guy, so I wouldn't get one. But y'all seen the shirt I have? I have the shirt with it with it on the back. It's really super dope. So okay, we have a hike song. So what's next? Workshop. Yes. So what do we know about the workshop? Chat. What do we know? What do, what information do we have? What's so the- we. Go ahead. Uh, what's, what are they cooking? Uh, we know that the workshop seems to be arguably as powerful as the Jahard Empire because, like, they don't have any type of uh, restrictions on them in any type of way. And I would have a hard time believing Jahard wouldn't try to, like, take them under their wing and control them if, like, he could. So, like, the fact that he isn't means to, shows to me that he can't. Uh, maybe there's something else. Maybe McSeth just has, like, some weird, like, nuclear bomb that just kills the regulars. I don't, I don't know. Uh, but they seem to be extremely powerful. Uh, they seem to be everywhere because there is a workshop on every single floor. Mm-hmm. I can't remember if there's a workshop outside the tower or not. Yeah, I I seen it, I just seen it in the chat, so I was gonna go check. I don't I don't I don't remember that being said, but there are seven headquarters, thirtieth floor, Archimedes, Founders, Max Seth, Leaders, Max Seth. We knew that already. They have affiliations with the Research Association FUG, and they have a partnership with the Popadel family. So that's all very important. Yes. Mm-hmm. The creation room, the life of the factory, the 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 Gong Bang is an organization founded with Tower with the Great Father Max Seth, according. To Max Seth, it also exists outside the tower, and no one knows its origin. Okay, yeah, it's true. You're right. That's it. That's fascinating. So, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, and that's what, why, when what are they in, cooking in the outside workshop? What's happening? I have questions. That's why I was always curious when they say the word Maxethian as a language. I was always curious if that was like English or something. And is that based off of him, Max Seth? Yeah, like it's based off his name, but I'm like, I'm curious, is that because it's outside in the other world? I'm like, could that just be the English language, perhaps? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I, I know what you uh, mean, but I have no idea, though. 
McSeth seems yeah he would have to be a monster. We know he has like some level of like uh connection with like when we know he like interacts with the family heads, but I mean he made the white or specifically for uh Arya Han. He also made the thirteenth month series, right? Uh so he he kinda goes crazy in the cooking of weapons. Uh the workshop has multiple ranks. Uh they also got they also got that one rule about um you can't leave you can't like like you have to yeah, be chosen to be leave. in it. And if you leave, you have, they have to take away your knowledge or something like that, or like, oh yeah, stop that's you right. from yeah, yeah, like like they're like they're like a pretty like prestigious, uppity group, you know. They're the, the, yeah, they're the you elites. Are, you, are completely right. you are right. Yeah. Uh, I think the highest rank is McSeth. He's like in his rank below him. Then he has the rank. What is it? It's like is it actually is the highest rank like father or something. Or teacher something. I might have to just look this up, but I know underneath grand, McSeth there's grand, four people. Grand, grandfather, father, great teacher, teacher, disciple. Right. He's the top yeah, he's like the great father, grandfather. Uh and then the father was his uh disciples. And one of them is became the Lord, one of the lords of the tower. Mm -hmm. Uh Flux. Flux? Yeah, I, I just say both just so I, I cover my bases. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Flukes is one of his disciples, and I think the only one that's named. Uh, and he's also one of the three lords of the tower, along with Jahard, and then Molek, uh, one PGR, <laughs> whatever. I love that name. Uh, it's so ridiculous. So, and and that I think that's probably the most interesting part here is that like. So McSeth has one of his. Was this like a thing McSeth had his disciple did do, or was it because his disciple was at such a rank he's allowed a little bit more autonomy than others that he's like, no, there's something in Jahar that I actually see that I like and I'm going to join and help him by being a lord. I feel like mm -hmm. that's a relationship that like would be really interesting to see like how like that dives into. I would like to also see like some of the origin, and I wonder if everything in the tower that exists as a workshop is something that that was was like based off the architecture of how it was supposed to be on the outside. I did just look up look it up here. So there are you guys were right about it being on every floor in the middle area specifically. So like this is actually a really really important big group, and I've just reminded that we saw the pine workshop where they created the beeskins. Right, yeah. So that's where Yama and those and Yas Racha and those guys were created too, so and they're a huge part of Lopa Bia's like family and and and, and their fighting force and whatnot. So, as much as and in my head, some for some weird reason, I downplayed how their how what they do kind of percolates and trickles down to other parts of the tower. They're actually immensely important. They're actually a big deal. Now I'm thinking about it. So, um, damn, and um. Let me just read this here. The workshop is an independent organization, not ruled by. Oh. The there we go. It's completely independent. One may think I'm this wrong. kind of existence may threaten power balance with the tower's rulers, but this is not the case. This is because the workshop has absolutely no interest in the tower's power struggles and politics. This is despite the fact that Maxeth is affiliated with Jihad and the Great Warriors and is the creator of Flux, one of the Flux, one of the Great Three Lords. Go ahead. I was wrong. Okay. How about? Flux isn't in the group with four. The four that I'm thinking of were Flux's disciples. Flux is the only one within his tier of ranking in the same way McSeth is. So it goes McSeth in a tier, then Flux, then the four disciples of Flux, then like the great, then like teachers and disciples. And it seems like disciples is a rank that is a, it's like regulars can be disciples and also rankers. So then teachers to me would probably be like advanced rankers and high rankers. And then the four uh, students of Flux would probably be like top 100-ish tier. And Flux is as strong as like one of the three lords like Molik. So he's like probably top 30. And McSeth would probably like... <sighs> McSeth, he, he, I, mean, I would assume if he has a tower outside, he's also probably an irregular as well then. I mean, I guess he would have to be. But he would also probably be comparable to the family heads in some sense of the word. But I just don't know, like... I feel like the way in which they fight and operate would just be so fundamentally different from everybody else. 
Mm-hmm. I think Mike's like I don't even know if they're gonna be the using brains. Shinsu like that. Yeah. yeah, like they might just be like a full tech base, like they pulling out laser beams, <laughs> laser guns. Like. While, while everyone's in the field doing the thing, the other guy in the computer. SCS stated that no one knows the origin of the workshop because the workshop's ultimate goal is to find this origin. In Korean, this can be translated to no one knows where all creation comes from because it is the ultimate goal of all creation to find its own origin. I oh, don't um, that's overly poetic for me, to me, honestly. To so avoid mis- oh, that's, that's something else. Now, I want to talk about a couple of things that we got from the from the workshop, um, just in general. Because the first thing that comes to mind is the drug in the syringe mm-hmm. that Urek had to separate Hell Joe from the Red Theresa, which was significant as hell, which means he has connections there, or maybe he's like, hey, give me that. I need that. Um, the, I don't remember their names. The left the left arm and the right arm of the devil, because they're ignition weapons, so living ignition weapons Benjamin. from the, from the oh, Acorn hey. workshop. That's their... Um, yeah. They're, they're a thing. I think I, I already mentioned the B-skins. Um, let me look this up real quick. Give me a second. Some of the floors, like... I'm trying to remember because at, at least some of the floors weapons, also, lighthouses. Like, the, Sorry, they'll do the they'll do their testing. You know what I mean? Like at the workshop battle, like they came into the that was the Archimedes, right? That was on floor thirty because that was a specific name of theirs that came over, uh, and they sometimes do tests. They create their own tests along with like the floor and mm-hmm. stuff. Cause I, I I can't remember which floor, but I think there's like another mention of like that happening, like. At least two more times on later floors where they'll do stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, they also have like their like own rules and like which they give out like uh, specific items, like how they gave the blood tamarind to uh, the mad dog, where they gave bong bong to like uh, and Dorsey, and like the item, like the the way in which Euro is done got is their suitcase from the workshop too, right? Yes, I think so, and it's mm-hmm. great because like. It allows regulars to basically get like top tier items early on, but also performing well in these tests and whatnot could give you something that gives you a little bit of a uh, like a bong bong or something. So like, hey, I performed yes. well in the workshop in Archimedes. This was my um, my reward, right? So that that that's 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 really good. Do I do I dislike Tramere because of how SCU did or didn't use him? Uh, the jury's still out. Like I could tell you this, he don't move me. Is really the best way. Like, like for all I know, within the next sixty chapters, he does a lot of good character arc, character work with him, and I like him. I am, I, I'm disappointed with. I hate saying this because there's no sense. I hate saying this, but it's like I'm not mad at Traumary. I'm mad at SIU. <laughs> I think SIU brought him, brought him, and because he didn't make him a real potent threat to me, I felt like there was so much fake tension on that floor. But, but some some things have rectified that. But uh, I'll 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 have a whole video about that soon. Don't worry. I'll I'll speak in depth about it. Housing and studying the thorns. So the origin so the the origin search of the workshop is too philosophical for Naya. But I'm a simplify. So basically, the workshop wants to go on the Mari show to find out who's the father. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, that was some oh the origin of creation is to find the creation of origin i'm like bro i don't know what that means that's poetic i hate poetry oh see, okay this is interesting mm-hmm. okay so i have like kind of two main things right one i completely forgot i don't even know if i knew this they made the hell train i don't even know if i knew that the uh, workshop made the hell train yeah i mean that makes sense but no i don't think it I makes either. sense but then it bring it begs the question in my head of like did did the concept of trains come from the outside world? Wait, because I'm looking on the wiki, it says a master of the workshop originally made the Hell Express and his train guardians all for the purpose of trains of hard and great worries. So then my question is, with the ability to skip floors, it's like I'm really curious about what is the relationship between the workshop and then the guardians of each floor? Ooh. Cause the guardians, because the guardians would have to let them make a base each floor, but they and, also and they probably them to have to use Shinsu. Its floor, yeah. yeah but they also have to use Shinsu in some capacity, which means they all need permission. Yes, because hmm. creating a a tool that lets you skip floors, I think, like you would ha- you would for sure like, hey, like guardians, can we like do this? 
because I know how you guys are about your test. So, like, that's a relationship I would love to see dived into because I just thought of that. And then another major thing that just I just thought about was Flux is considered, like, to be created by, like, an accept. Like, he's, like, he was, like, a living organism that was created. So, I'm For some I'm reason curious. in my head, I just think he's, I think he's Flubber. I don't know why, but keep going. I don't know why. That's, <laughs> just, okay. okay. Just think of Flubber for some reason. I don't know. But keep going, though. What if he is the original living ignition li- wow living ignition weapon but like since there was no base like he wasn't a human before like he's actually more of like kind of like an ai with like in lit like with like an ignition weapon body more so okay i thought you were gonna initially say maybe he's a being of pure energy but i like that. i mean he I'm would cool be in that. that case still i guess yeah yeah like you a, know almost like a pure energy like you know being yeah i mean I want to put like the workshop has too many people who are smart. So because they, because they, I remember correctly, they made Emily too, which is the artificial intelligence. If I remember correctly, or is she just an app. He's also she an ignition app? weapon. Oh, she was okay. a human first that became in that because she's also an ignition weapon. So like that's why I'm like, if the left arm, right arm, Emily and Beta, what if they were based off of like trying to replicate what Nick said did with Flux? But since they can't do like can't, they can't really create something out of nothing, they're kind of using humans as like a baseline to try to reach that stage but again you can only they can only go so far because they seem really big on like this human changing as we said with the beast can and even with the living initial weapons they seem to really like enjoy doing like human like experiments or whatever species they're fucking with in the tower yeah they love doing that <laughs> they love just doing some shit it's strange how they randomly uh, put a train to skip floors on 34th floor. Why there? Well, I don't know why those floors specifically, but wait, if they created the train, did they put the God of Guardians there? I, that's kind of, yes. the, that's where I was going because you just said that they were, the, the hell train was created to train them. Yes. So they would have to have some, something. Or somehow they knew these people were coming and they created this thing to help them become what they are today. Yeah. Which is interesting to think about. We know if the workshop created the hidden floor. Or the data the data world or whatever. Or oh. Uh, uh, do we know that? I don't know. Just out of curiosity. Or, or that or that's just a part I of the tower f- naturally. Because that's related to the the hell train too if i remember correctly do we remember yes, because we're on the, cause we're on the train to the last station yeah 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 hmm. but but did, didn't po Badal have something to do with that didn't po Badal do the thing to but he's also he's also po Badal. but he's also but he's also affiliated with with the workshop true so it wouldn't be that crazy but yes he had the master key and he's like hey take this go do the thing get, i think he's going. the one that taught them how to like create their i guess it would be like they made the floor but Gustang made it possible for them to keep data mm. after, I guess. Are humans even a real thing in the tower? There's hella conflicting statements on that. I think they exist, but maybe it's not the way that we see humanity. I don't I think th- I think Bam and those guys are, I think they're human, yeah. Bam might not be because he's a monster of the night. I don't know. But yeah, I think like like, like, like where that's that's a fucking human. That's a human. Yeah. Like yeah, the yeah. regular the, the family other stuff, those are humans. I don't know, man. In Dorsey, uh, she got a horn. I don't she got know. a horn. She, 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 she <laughs> Oni. <laughs> yeah, she Oni. Yeah, she she, she Kaido race. No, she, she's oh uh, yeah, she's Kaido race. I was gonna say um, what's what's his daughter? Yamato. She's real. She's Work Yamato. was in a K-pop band, and his eyes are red because he had red contacts in, but they fused with his eyes when he climbed his. <laughs> uh. I think no, 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 the no, no. workshop made the mirror. Oh, really? That might make sense. I gotta. I just maybe this recline really needs to hit because <laughs> refresh my memory and some of this stuff because it has been a while. I didn't actually. I don't, I don't find, I don't oh find yeah, it. you use the mirror to get through, right? Yeah, something like that. Because I think yeah, they did make the mirror. Yeah, I think so, they did make the mirror. Mm-hmm. No, Bam is Kirby, twenty fifth, twenty fifth Kirby, twenty fifth Galactus. Oh yeah, but the workshop, you know, they're doing their thing. They're all here. They're trying. Yeah. Um, 
would you ever like are you one of, are you in the camp of wanting to see another kind of workshop type arc would you like one of those or no you, just, you should just not bother and just kind of move on uh I, I i'm in such a weird place in general about how we operate with later floors because of how strong bam is so like Good point all like on paper i think like like if i saw tar of god originally from what i like thought it would be and it's not to say I thought I would think that we would have needed to be on every fucking floor and like go super hard, right? I don't think that that was ever necessary. Uh, mm -hmm. Like I think I would have been able to go up, like up to like four workshop separate battles, honestly, because it's such a broad thing and what you could do with it because of how and each big... workshop has like 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 they research and do different things. Like one could be more about yeah, weapons, ones are about beast skins. One could be about like legitimate like items and swords and trinkets and bong bongs and blood tamaras, you know? Yeah. So the, I, I would have been fine with seeing multiple of them. And cause even like just from like new weapons and gear that we could get to more interesting tests we could get more lore about the tower, maybe some stuff with the outside world. Like there's, and since they're not a neutral party, they're they are a neutral party. I feel like there's a lot more leeway to get stuff like 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 information about like things that like would probably be forbidden by Jahar that way as well. Because like if Bam like met like one of like the four people of Flux, like four students of Flux, could he get some info about the outside world from them? Maybe, maybe. Because they're not really under the jurisdiction. I, I'm also trying to think that with the workshop, you know, they're trying to find the origin of you know where it really came from and how it started. And, the, and there's a version of the outside. Maybe they can't literally physically displace themselves and get outside. But what if they can almost kind of like telescope, see into space and peer to the outside somehow? Like they have some type of technological connection to seeing certain things or monitoring certain things about the outside and maybe that can come full circle well like song or maybe that's why urex affiliated with them which is interesting to think about mm -hmm. wait since the yeah, workshop this, this is the lot. partner of the popadal family do you think there's some way we'd see them involved on the upcoming stuff then again do you take a stance of non-interference but maybe gustang will i they they the, are, the statement of them being on don't they don't care about they don't work for the king and they don't really care about like the politics and things in the tower and that's so why I, I think it'd be i think it'll be divorced but now i wouldn't put it past a certain man to have some checks and balances in there and things to work in his favor should he need to work he should he need the workshop to work for him but i'll leave it at that because i don't i'm not going to talk about this yeah in this video but but yeah i agree like i mm. like i i would i would want them to stay neutral like i like i think it's always really good to have true neutral parties in like stories like this with a lot of factions like yep. in ones that actually have the ability to stay neutral it's as you said like i think at most it's one of those things of like we're in war maybe gustain could buy all specific power powerful weapons from them because he has like an end like that like they could be like a you know weapons like a i forget what you call like those got but it's like arms merchants type stuff where it's like oh i know this specific dealer i can get some oh, yeah, he makes deals, a great stuff the best like stuff because he's got the best hit the best handles yeah. for blades sharpest swords stuff in, like that. in this area yeah yeah so but, but like let the, the workshop, workshop just be the workshop yeah yeah at this point it is what it is i just i just, I just want to see cool things come from it and you know then be relevant i don't need to i don't think i need to have another uh, a knock versus ran as cool as that was. So I guess we'll do FUG next. Or or is the hard empire? What do you think? Let's do FUG. Are they the are they the world organ are they the the world government of Tower of God? <laughs> Absolutely. Dog water. FUG is trash. I I had so I, like listen, it's not it's not all said and done yet. Things can change and turn around, but God, God damn, do I not respect this 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 organization? And I like get it. Like, it was founded by Loose Leg, really the way for Bam to come and do whatever you gotta do, and you know, save them and lead them, whatever the case may be. And now you have all of these what? You have thirteen Slayers for, is it thirteen? Eleven? Why well, don't I don't remember? Anything eleven. Anymore. Eleven. It's eleven okay, Slayers yes. and seven are. Yeah, because our lead and V would be like active. out the paint. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Anyways, yeah. Or so, not even active. That's not even fair. We have seven that have names, but they're not all active. Like there's yeah. like two that are active. Everybody else isn't doing anything. Yeah. No, no playing tickle butt somewhere. But yeah, so I forgot what I'll say. What was I saying? Uh, the, the, the eleven slayers. Sorry, the eleven slayers, and like 
because each one of them has their own little team and faction and they have their own personality and things they want to do and maybe their 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 motivations um are different i understand the internal discord and the lack of unity that's never been a problem for me but damn this organization is unserious as far as i'm concerned and the slayers aren't strong enough to do shit they can't even beat jihad empire commanders these are supposed to be the people to take out people who are holding the, a family head seat. Like I can't take that seriously. Um, Karaka's not ready. Yabba's not ready. Like they're not ready. <laughs> like and it makes me laugh in the sense that at least from from what I know, I don't know if, if Yama continued to do this, but Yama at least when he needed to take out Doom was constantly training and getting more powerful. I resent the fact that it comes across to me that these guys don't train. You're not strong enough to do anything meaningful. You're not. You don't have the goods, blood. Like, you need to hit the gym. So, they just make me laugh in that sense. And I always find it funny that you have this guy who's taught martial arts to Bam and Karaka. At the very least, we know that. And he's very well-renowned. And, you know, the massacre of the Ha family. He gets captured. And they're like, niggas get captured every day, B. Go about, it. Go about your day normally. Like, What? I actually was very shocked that Hodgson's son was not important enough for FUG to somewhat mobilize or at least care that he got captured. Did you get that sense? It makes zero sense. Yeah. Yeah, it makes because arguably the only person presented in in FUG right now that could beat Hodgson's son is White. No one else on like Hodgson's son is, is working Yama. He's working Karaka. He's working Sophie. He's working Kel Hellum. Like. This is a guy that's stronger than more, most of your elders and slayers. He's one of the oldest people in the tower. So the knowledge he probably has, per, just from a knowledge standpoint, the info he should have on the fa- like the families, like the great families, could just be invaluable in of itself. Mm-hmm. And then if he tra- if he's trained two slayers, Karaka and Bam, he's probably trained other people as well. Like, what do you mean you don't care that he's... What are we talking about? You guys are worthless. You're dumb. Oh, You're... Lost Child is, is insinuating that they're top-heavy. Like the gods, the demons and gods of monsters, like your loose legs of the first generation, are they carrying? But then again, we get the statement from Cal Hellum that Yamma's exuding strength on par with the first generation of Slayers when he could put, pull up to him. And this is before, and this is before that. This is before he, fu- he fully transformed. So it's like... They said the same thing about White. They said White has the power of like of the first gen. So it's like the two second gens we've seen, Yama and White, which is so weird because they really don't even seem like they're from the same generation. It really seems like there should be more generations of like slayers. Isn't, like White. isn't White from two, technically? White's from but, two, but he got, and but he got sealed, two. and then he got like, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, Yama's third. Yama's third. No, 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 Yama's, Yama's third. Yama's third generation. Isn't Yama's sure Yama third? I swear. Maybe Pretty I'm sure Yama's second. I think Krok is the only one in third that we know of. You might be right. Let me just check. Keep going, though. But it's just like, from what, but it's like every other slayer is like, oh, y'all are better strong as the first generation, like the first generation. So then is everybody just the first generation? What's the point in having these generations if everybody's in the same tier as the first gen? The first gen are demons. They're gods. No, they're not. <laughs> everybody oh, is, Christ. apparently. <laughs> it's, it's just, it, it's just everything they do is questionable beyond belief. It's just really odd. And like honestly, FUG is one of the few like they're one of the few things in which like I think like having like crazy like faith in Bam would actually make sense more so than the way Bam's friends interact. Because he's the literal son of the people that founded your organization has the thorn and has like a full prophecy about killing the king though i don't know if they know that or not which is mm-hmm. fair game but i mean i i think loose Lick should know that but like the moment bam came in the tower loose Lick should have gotten out of his throne and been like oh my god oh my god we're, we're protecting this boy we're doing this we're getting this boy right like off rip if we're being completely honest mm. i would have been like if i was loose Lick, i'm like we're getting bam nice as quick as possible and all of you guys are bowing down to Bam. Like we're not, we're not all that. We're individuals and we're gonna, we're not doing that shit no more. Like I, like this is when you whip everybody into shape. It's, it's, just, it's just so weird. No, I, I agree with you. I, I, it's not telling me. 
Let me click this. Maybe this will help. I'm trying to figure out. I swear he was third generation. I don't know why, though. Do, 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 do. It's not tell. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to find this right now. But, um, yeah, they're, they're like the most unserious group to me, man. I just don't know what they're doing at all times. But you got to wonder if just, like, really the whole point of this group is just to wait for Bam to be ready to do what he needs to do. And all this other stuff is just really access whatever. And it's not and it's not true. But then again, who in the tower is serious about anything? <laughs> How many true believers are left, I wonder? A very, very good question. A very good question. It's, I can't believe it's, I don't even know, bro. I, I don't know. Like, I'm trying to think about this. There, there's 11 slayers, right? Yeah. They're supposed to be. And if it's supposed to be against Jahard and each family head, the numbers already don't make sense. Because if Luz likes the leader, I would argue he should be the one that's going after Jahard, which isn't the case because Karaka is going after Jahard. But Bam is also supposed to be prophesied to go after Jahard. So that's what three people for one ban already. Maybe Luz like is supposed to go after. No, Luz like isn't going after Arya because that's white. So it's just like who, like who, who's with who, like. Probably the witches. Uh -huh. um, hold on, F U G. I know there was I, there was there was I swear there was a list I should just tell you what generation they were from, but maybe yes, I there was. I no, there know. definitely was. I, I don't know if they got rid of it or not, but there definitely was. Maybe maybe I need to click on Slayer. Let's see what I got here. No, this is not helping me at all either. Useless. Useless. It just tells me active and inactive. That's all it's doing. Um, saying that inactive is a more unnamed. Pepho memore seto. Loose like is active. Yama is active. And his and his his, his target is local be a trauma ray. He's not ready. White is active. His Arihan and Karaka's draw, which is just so unserious. Karaka's not ready. <laughs> Karaka's not ready. Karaka even dodge a Cal Hell of Ariel. He's not ready, dog. But it's so weird because Karaka like had like one of the most interesting things, and you say it all the time. He was new. Hmm. And you could really feel that Karaka is a new slayer, but he really had the potentials and he did have the skill set, like it made sense where why he was a slayer. Like you could be like, he has the goods right now, but he really is gonna be that guy by the end. But, like, just the way in which he's just been used is just so weird. It's and I, I don't think I like the change of him being a high ranker now. Oh, I never, I, he never earned it, in my opinion. That was so weird. And, that and, was and, such and a I think, weird and I, and I think it actually makes him look worse. Like, if he was still just a ranker... I'm like, you know, it's like it's like he's like the baby slayer still, the established slayer, and, I, and it wouldn't bother me to that to that um degree. If he has fully lost has lot fully lost me because aside from the Bam James, none of those burgers are killing anybody. I I, I hear that. I'm not mad at that. I understand. Yeah, cause like, you know how impressive it was when I was like watching Karaka fight Yuri. I'm like, he's a ranker and he's not instantly dying. Mm hmm. And, like, I mean, Yuri was, like, kind of not going full out because she couldn't, like, let Bam die when they were fighting the Hell Train. But she, bring, she brings out Kronos and stuff. I'm like, oh, snap. Like, <laughs> Krok is doing World of Darkness. He's doing his Iron Tree. I'm like, see, this is cool. We got a Slayer versus, like, a Princess. It seems, like, good. And you could tell that these are both, like, these are the beginners of, like, where, of, like, their, like, subsequent ranks. Like, Yuri's not peak princess yet, and Kraka's not a peak slayer. No, but then now it's I just agree. like, ah, oh, Kraka's a high ranker. He's kind of like... I'm like, like why? He, 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 like, he got clapped up by everybody, pretty much. That's all he did was lose. Is it because he survived? It, like he's, a, he's a worm? I, I think this is the issue, and this is, why I keep, this is why I truly do think Bam is the sole like, problem, because everything stems from that. Because with Bam now growing fast the story has to get condensed in a smaller time frame. 
So I feel like if it was like the thought of like it should have taken Bam normally like I, like let's just say at least a hundred or so years to climb the tower, that would have given everybody else that were already rankers time to also increase in power. So Karaka, by the time Bam climbed, could maybe have reached high ranker level. Lororio could maybe have reached advanced ranker, high ranker level. You know what I mean? Like, it's not even just from a regular perspective. It's also the rankers that we've met that had agency and importance in, like, Bam's growth and, like, what they could do with the story with the organizations they have, that they would also become heavy hitters by the time Bam reached just the top floor. And that's still realistically only the beginning of the journey because after you reach the top four, you still have a lot of other stuff you have to do. Agreed. But now with Bam just kind of skipping past all these stages, it's like, it's not just regulars that are getting left in the dust, which like is talked about a lot because like, that's the ones we like grew up with since season one. But like a lot of the rankers even aren't like their ability to grow is also now diminished, which is like really sad. It's annoying, it's annoying. Yeah, because you because even again, because ranker is not the end. You become a, a yes. advanced slash upper to high ranker, you know, like so it's not the end. And for like you said, Lororo and like Mule Love and stuff are guys are rankers that I like to see, you know, they maybe grow a little bit, but maybe I don't know. It's just oh, I just remember the time where I just looked at rankers, I'm like, man, they're different. And now I look at rankers, I'm like, man, they're similar. <laughs> they're they're yeah. whatever. They're like they're just not different. They don't move me like that, so but I, 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 like, wow. I definitely think this is the worst organization in the in the tower, and I just, yes. I don't, I just, I don't think SIU. I think the problem sometimes that a lot of these Eastern storytellers especially have when they have these organizations where they have to hide a bunch of stuff until later is they don't understand how to maybe implicitly or slowly to give like like an ivy drip amount of information throughout the course of the story that when it's time to kind of reveal certain things it doesn't become this jarring nonsense of a spectacle where you're like wait so why didn't we do this in this part because that would have made this would have this would have made sense to, you know what i'm saying like like we have to kind of like go back and be like retroactively in hindsight this might not make that much sense we should have known this from this point in time it's kind of like how i think of the system of hockey hockey is probably a fine power system but i hate how i hate how it's told to us and how much he holds back with it until like he's just ready to tell us about certain things i think i saw you said um the story will be about to the pyre we won't go higher than the floor above 135 but he said a lot of things and he's rescinded a lot of them so you never know which ones are the things he's serious about or are still gonna whatever but I don't respect the FUG. I think they're, I think they're clowns. Yes. I used to, I used to love these slayers. I think they were so cold. I think they're the greatest. And like, you guys know I'm a crock guy. Concept, it's, 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 it's just, it's just a bam. Like, no one else matters. Like, <laughs> it, it, it was a, it was truly a good concept because each slayer has their own organizations in which they run things like in the underground of the thing. I want the red light district, Yama. Yeah, damn it. We had a, Red Light District, Yama having like fighting dogs, Immort doing stuff. He's like a shadow man. We had Seto doing stuff in the back. Like even Karaka, like I would still say, I would say Karaka is probably the most competent person that we've seen in the tower so far. Or in, in, I'm sorry, not in the tower in FUG so far. Like he's still, he's just him. like too friendly. His, yeah, his issue is like the friendly camaraderie stuff he does sometimes. But like from an actual like competency standpoint he he does well like he has his people he has his world like his heart hidden he has his people trapped in a place that he can always bring them out he has his goal that he wants to do and he at least tries to make decisions to get this goal of like killing your heart and he's out, out looking for his brother with the ring like he like he does stuff but it, it, it's still just everything else just feels weird and even the i think the elders were a good touch because i never expected elders to be a section within the organization but even then it's stronger just like, or just as strong as them so i'm like y'all even past mm-hmm. the elders yet come on man this is, like what are, like, the, what are the purpose you of can't the beat the elders what are how are you taking out any of these family heads this is why i, I wonder yeah. if like this and that, that's really not their goal of them like that's a lie that they tell them to get them to get strong and become part of the group but really it just it just loose like being like wait for bam bro <laughs> it, it, it's so it's so weird it, it it's such a such a weird decision. Like I, I really just don't know. Like when it comes to FUG, I I just really don't know what he's thinking. I really don't. Mm-hmm. So you better not make it lose like a fraud. I agree. All right, 
let's do um the empire which i actually have i am um impressed with in a lot of ways maz can you start us off i gotta use the bathroom just uh yeah uh do we uh, should i include red in this why are we gone uh okay uh Jahard empire i would argue uh, are no, no, I wouldn't argue it's the best organization so far. I would say a little bit. The Art Empire is one of the best organizations so far. Uh, that's not saying much, I guess, because we don't have that many organizations that we know a lot about or doing much about. Uh, but the Art Empire is broken up into five separate is it squadrons. Yes, five squadrons. Uh, two of which that we have like pretty decent like understanding of the fourth one which is Calavan's group that was later hijacked by like Borix, but they're all basically gone now and the fifth one which is basically Lopabia family taking over and uh making a name with that there's a huge subsection of ranks within each one that even though many of them don't matter it's still nice to know that they exist and actively I'm do stuff I'm uh Okay. What did you say? Uh, I'm just talking about the armies. You said there's five squadrons. We know about the fourth and fifth. We know there's like uh, subsequent ranks within we each have, army. We have a, a, a general chain of command too, to some degree. Yeah. Right? That's... Yes. Dory. Like. With the lords. Um, those guys yeah. at the altar with like Arthur and stuff, and they like shift around or whatever. Oh no, no, no! Those guys, mm -hmm. those guys received orders, but yeah, like we got a decent amount from them, and their commanders kind of raw. Yeah, yes. Ratchet kind of raw. Caliban kind of officers... raw. <clears throat> I think every single officer is at least a ranker, uh, mm -hmm. which is also impressive. The foot soldiers, I think they have like regulars and stuff, but like officers are all rankers. Now, one thing that we don't know, you mentioned this quite a bit, we still don't know how actual ranking up within the army works. Yeah, is there a test? Is it the fitness? Is it just power? Is it recognition? Like, like you know, do I start off as a cadet and then I become a... I don't know army stuff. I, I don't know. But, yeah. Like, yeah. I want. I was wondering, like, how do you become a commander of a squadron? Like, what's the criteria? It's always, mm -hmm. it's always been fascinating to me because I'm like, can Galavan really kind of just get his his thing back like that? Because he's technically a foot soldier, you know, like he's a regular foot soldier now. That's one hell of a pawn to have, you know. what I'm saying like, damn, like, imagine, you know, like, like I, I, this is like the one thing that I've always like thought like I would do if I make like a manga or something, or whatever. Where I'm like, you know, when like the main character is washing a bunch of people, like you know, Luffy just going through Marines, just like. They're flying really easily, and they like because like, like in One Piece in certain series, it's always like one <laughs> versus a thousand, kind of like a like a Musou game. I'm like, what if there's one reg person who's dressed in regular clothes who's cold as hell, and they just stop that punch? Like, go go no, stop that. Like, wait, wait, what? Like, who's this generic, <laughs> generic foot soldier putting in work? So. I've always liked the idea. I was like, what, what, like, you didn't know you're just running through them, and then, like, Calavan's in one, like, the beret, the beret, and the outfit, and he just fucking punches you back all the way back to the starting line. Like, that will be raw. You kind of got a small instance of that in, in, in a, in a different way with, like, um, the, the hatchling and the captain or the boss, but yeah. The, the, he's like, how are you keeping up with me? But I actually would say that the biggest reason that I think this organization has been mostly competent is because, the the leaders of the squadrons and whatnot have been powerful. Liborik isn't I still the jury's still a little out on him, but I know that he did some stuff with Hidden Grove and he's smart and conniving and he you know, he had things in motion, but Calavan and Yas Ratcha to me are very impressive. And some of their some of their people are impressive, like Chian Hiha didn't beat Hasacha. Hasacha was like, I really I really mean it when I say I'm lazy. Like I'm not doing this. I'm not working this hard. Go, be gone. <laughs> You know, like she really meant that. Mm -hmm. Shawnee, I didn't beat her. As a matter of fact, I, I would argue that she was going to lose. And then um, I like Sharon from um, Calavan's group. I like Sharon. She's cool. I like Shawnee as well. They got a couple of like decent people on their team and whatnot as well. So 
Okay. They just come across as the most competent in terms of organization. They're they're probably the best. And I, I don't know if Red is exactly. Like, I know it's like a, a faction, but are they directly connected to the Jihad Empire in that sense, or like they're their own special like task force, if you will? They should be under the umbrella of the Empire, but separate from the army. Mm. Like they, I think they would. They should be a specialized task force because I don't know. Like, it's like a, a, I'm trying to remember the exact wording uh, Ren said when he was talking to an act, but it seemed like there was like they had like a certain level of special authority with them, where it's like, like even if you guys fight back, like even like that could like get you like the death penalty or like locked up or whatever. I don't know. Hold on. Off topic, do you think Trauma and New Bam could absorb Leviathan? I just saw a huge discussion in which some are quite adamant he knew despite him reacting like he kind of didn't. Mm. It came across to me as maybe... I don't think he knew he could do that. That's my best guess. And he did seem generally kind of surprised, like, yo, he absorbed Leviathan? Like, Leviathan inside of him? That's interesting. So, I don't... And he never sent them there, you know? But Shenny was the one who concocted that plan. So, I don't think it was something that he saw. He foresaw, he foresaw coming. And if I remember correctly, too, he still... When he when Hodge and Sung appeared in front of him, Trauma Race was like, why aren't you captured? Why are you here? <laughs> so, food for thought on that, but... I still think they're the most impressive um, faction that we've seen in the tower. I guess you would say. I'm kind of, kind of, I'm kind of like much higher on the workshop though. Like having had this conversation, like the workshop been working, they've been workshopping, they've been doing their thing. Yeah. It's all things considered. You're just like FVG, y'all in the mud, man. You fix up, I fix I th- up. I still think I take Lopa B family as the number one so far for me. Mm-hmm. I hear you. But um, is there anything else about these organizations you think we need to touch on? Uh, I just think it's well. This bleeds into the Lopa B a thing, but I do think it's interesting that like base like one of the armies was specifically just like an entire like family, like with the fifth one being like part of the Lopa B family, mm-hmm. but, like not at the same time because they weren't like blood blood members. They were yes, Raja people that were power, but they were still underneath that name. Uh, so I'm just curious if I would just be curious if the other three would have some relationship to families or would they also just be purely independent such as Caliban that's a good question I couldn't answer that though Caliban did come from a prestigious family himself or yeah but, but the essence of both protecting the master emerald they, he, he think he really he's trying to be knuckles for real he'd be punching too hold on yeah true so I think if I if I had to look at, I think I could see the REA family like having like, mm-hmm. ties with like the first squadron. I think. Okay, I like that. Outside of that, I don't know if any of the other family heads would. Well, that all remains to be seen. But with that, I think we've gone through as much as as much as my brain can handle for the time being, because I still gotta. I still got to get some other things done, but I think that um, the Jihad Empire is in a good place. FUG needs to fix up, and we need to get some bit more information and better information about them. The workshop, my stock, the stocks have risen. I'm, I'm messing with them high key. I kind of like them now, honestly. I've never disliked Will Hike Song, despite like not knowing anything really about them. I've always liked them. We wrecked that guy, so just like very easy for me to be like, hey, they're cool. I, I par with them, so. Shout out to the Patreon gang because of y'all. I don't got to consume ice soup every day. Y'all ever ate ice soup? Y'all never had no ice soup. Anyway, shout out to the CVL. That's the certified BAM. Lovers, shout out and salute to the Priest of Fire. That's the real CVL, certified brilliant lovers. But the biggest and uh, largest thanks to the fifth Zen gods. My tier three pledgers. That's Big Abdel, Tris, Fitz. Irene Sharda, Jacob Holland, Johnny Rogers, Lazy Dragon, Lucky Roo, Revenant, Scope, Silo, Simi, he got a Twitch now, go follow him on Twitch, Sunny Katha Polly, and Zodiac Nemiko, you guys, your support is greatly appreciated, because I'm tired of eating ice soup, man, I'm tired of it.